hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Janae if you're new hello I'm back this is my first time picking up my camera and actually talking to it so it may take me a little bit to get used to this I feel really weird but I'm happy to be back I thought I would pick up the camera and vlog with you guys today it is currently a Monday I woke up this morning I went for a nice run I'm still doing my run keeper um, I did take a little bit of a break from it. I just did workout 14 this morning, so I'm on 15, and there is 18 total, so I'm almost done. I do have some things to get done today. I have a ton of unboxing to do. I need to go grocery shopping. I think I'm going to do Instacart. Just, like, getting stuff back on track. That's what's going on today. Yeah, welcome to the vlog. I'm so excited. Alright guys, my hair is officially curled. I'm going to talk about this in a future video, but I am vowing to... Like, I'm feeling really motivated and good about myself, and I'm wanting to take this energy into my physical well-being. I will talk about this in a future video, but I have been taking care of myself during this whole thing, and something that I want to change is, like, really taking care of my physical and outer being as well as my mental health, um, because I feel like I've really lost that in the past few years. So I've decided to like start getting ready and like looking and feeling my best. So yeah, um, I really want to look into getting the Babyliss, ba Baby Bliss um, curling iron that a lot, pretty much all hairstylists use. I'm very impatient when it comes to my hair and I don't really like put a lot of time and effort into it. So typically when I get in these moods, like I want to buy it and I'll use it like one time. I won't figure it out and I'll get frustrated and I'll put it away and never use it again. So if you guys have heard or used them before, let me know your opinions. Is it worth it? I'm probably gonna do it. This is all I got for right now. I feel like I did a pretty good job and this will last me a few days, so we're good. I need to go ahead and place my Instacart order. Um, I have a list of groceries that I need to get. Where's my phone? Yeah, so I'm going to place that and then I'm gonna, I've been dreading this. Go get all of my packages. I have so many packages, it's absolutely ridiculous. Plus I haven't been here for three weeks, so they're gonna think I'm like a hoarder. I just get a lot of PR and I get everything on Amazon. I'm gonna go do that. I'll show you guys like a before. This is where I'm gonna film my unboxing. So before, and then I'll show you guys after once I get everything. Wish me luck. Not as much as I expected. They're all pretty small, but I'm gonna set up right here, put on my gloves, and do like a quick unboxing haul with you guys. I just placed my Instacart order. My groceries are on the way, and now I'm gonna put on my gloves. I don't even know if this is like a thing that I need to do now um, when opening packages, but I feel like there's so many that it can't hurt. So I'm wearing my gloves. All right, let's start the unboxing haul. Oh my God, this is so fun. My mom was like, it's gonna be like Christmas when you go back. All right, box cutter is in hand. Let's start with this one. All right, from Sigma. Ooh, you guys know I love Sigma. So this one is a PR. Well, they send me a lot. So they have this rose gold glam set. It is a makeup application and brush care. It comes with a kabuki brush. Ooh, this is awesome. Okay, so you put this thing in your sink. I'll link everything to down below, anything that's like worth mentioning. Um, but you put this thing on the bottom of your sink and then you can clean all of your brushes, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is so cool. So you can clean your brushes and then you put your brushes on here. This is like a tower where you can dry all of your brushes. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be cleaning my brushes soon. Um, and then brush shampoo. So I'll probably vlog that in another upcoming video. Okay, first one down, next, from Sephora. I did go on like a Sephora haul when I was home and I picked up this uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil, which has been like something that I used to use all the time. And I stopped using it because it was really expensive and it goes pretty fast, but I was just like in the mood, I guess, I don't know. I had a lot of time on my hands, okay, don't judge me. All right, so this one's from Sephora as well. I completely honestly forgot what I got. I know I got some more skincare. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay, so I got my hair done at a salon in Tampa and they were like using all these like precautions. I had to wear a mask the whole time and there was only two people in the salon with me. I did get balayage done. I go to the, I think it's called Ha Salon in South Tampa and the lady that I went to, his name is Jordan. She was really sweet, really good. I also got my nails done. They're gel nails, but I didn't go to the actual salon. My cousin 
long story has like the whole setup of how to do your gel nails at home so she came over for my birthday and ended up doing my nails for me which was awesome and i'm pretty sure i'm probably gonna get the whole set because it's not expensive in comparison to like going to get your actual nails done so i want to learn how to do that blah blah, blah long story um, I did a lot of research in terms of like what I should be doing with my hair and what came up a lot was Moroccan oil My mom she already had this so while I was home I was like using it and I really really like Everything that this does for your hair I was using Pantene and it felt really good to like have my hair really soft But there's a wax that goes into your hair from Pantene which makes it really soft But over time that wax builds up and never gets out of your hair and it's just really 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 damaging to your hair so this is like free from all that kind of stuff, sulfate free, and smells really good. I also picked up their Moroccan oil treatment. So this is like an oil that you put in your hair. Yeah, I was using that at home and I really liked it. This is free, it's a living proof set. I've heard really good things about this brand too in terms of like frizziness. I also got some skincare. I've heard really good things about this. It's the Tan Lux Face Self Illuminating Tan Drops. So I typically will put the tanning mousse on my face, but I don't think it's a, that great for you because you can honestly see my pores insane when I do self-tanner on my face. So I know that like you're supposed to do the self-tanner and stuff on your body, but not on your face. And there's a lot of self-tanning mousse or like lotions for your face, but I have a specific lotion that I like to use and I don't want to like put so much skincare on my face. So I just got these drops. You just drop them into your... Uh, whatever lotion that you use and it will like gradually tan your face trying that out all right the next one the next one let me do the small ones this one's from kiss oh yeah speaking of my nails i you guys remember those heel and stick nails that i wore in the beginning of this quarantine i really liked them and so i thought i wasn't gonna get be able to get my nails done but i picked up i actually bought these they're um, the impress nail kits these are really good options if you guys want like a quick and easy way to get your nails done you literally peel it off stick up in your nails and it lasts a long time so i got like these three i really like this one it's like a baby blue but now that my nails are done i won't be able to use them i'll just keep them i guess just in case there's another quarantine so this one's from it doesn't say oh it's amazon I have an Amazon problem. I literally get everything on Amazon. Okay, so, and speaking of tanning, this was rated number one tanning products along with all of the super expensive tanning mousses and serums and all that stuff in terms of smell and price and like the actual gradual tan was rated number one. Again, my mom had it, I tried it out, I really liked it. It's the Jergens Natural Glow firming daily moisturizer and then you put this on every day and it gr gives you that gradual tan and it's so inexpensive it's absolutely ridiculous and the fact that it like competes with really high-end products and still comes out as number one is like a no-brainer it's also not like messy it's just like a lotion that you put on after the shower all right let's just another amazon you guys, I'm telling you, I have a problem. Not really. Like, honestly, though, Amazon saved me during this whole quarantine. Okay. My mom had this knife. It is the best knife I've ever used. <laughs> so random. But it's ceramic, so it feels like plastic. But it literally can cut through apples and meat and stuff, like, so smoothly. But when you, like, touch it, it doesn't feel sharp. It's the weirdest thing. I was like, Mom, where did you get this? She's like, I don't know, but I found it on Amazon for $6. I was like, why not? Oh, this is really gross. <laughs> it's a tongue scraper. I'm like embarrassed to say how long I've had my tongue scraper for. Um, you just scrape your tongue and it gets all the bacteria off and stuff. And this was like one of the highest rated ones. And it's really disgusting. But if you look at the before and afters of people's like tongues after they use this product, it's like it literally just takes all the gunk and bacteria off of your tongue. And I'm excited to use it. It's really different than my other one. My other one is just like one I got from Walmart. This is a stainless steel one. I'm going to add that to my oral care routine. This is another Amazon. I went on a spree, guys. I have no idea. This is a lip plumping cream. <laughs> it was the highest rated lip plumper. I don't know. I was. It was late and I... Don't ask. This one is another PR packaging this is from banza they are like healthy pastas i've actually tried them before and i'm pretty sure they're made with like beans and they're super high in protein so they're made from chickpeas they gave me rice rotini oh my god actually i might have to eat this today 
the mac and cheese, and then penne. William Sonoma. Okay, so I was shopping around my mom's house, basically. She has these towels that for some reason, I can never find the perfect kitchen towel. Like whenever I buy kitchen towels, it's like that material that when you dry your hands, it doesn't really dry, like your hands still feel wet. Her towels in the kitchen were just so plush and soft. I'm like, mom, where did you get this? She's like, William Sonoma. So picked up a whole bunch of towels from there. These are my summer reading books. Okay, so long story short, I have like really bumpy, Skin. I know that sounds weird, but it's called Keratolis something. KP is the short version. Um, and it's gotten pretty bad. I've been like exfoliating and everything, but it's still kind of like, I don't know, I notice it now because my mirrors have like these really bright lights and I've never noticed them before. I'm like, oh my god. It's like rough. I googled some stuff, long research, but this is a body scrub with 10% AHA and it's safe for sensitive skin. And it just basically exfoliates and it's really good for KP, so I'm going to try that out. Ooh, okay, so this is a glass skin serum. It makes your skin look like glass. A lot of celebrities use this serum and it just really makes your skin look like a doll. So I thought I would try it out. It gives your skin luminous and translucent look, cruelty free, all that kind of stuff. I'm excited to try that out. <sighs> this is a freaking workout. Uh, what is this? Oh, I think... I got a sample pack. So this is from Pharmacy, which you guys know is one of my favorite, if not my favorite skincare line. They um, have the cleanest and best ingredients. I use their, if you guys know, the green melt away makeup balm from them. And what I really like about them is they use scientists and farmers. So you're getting the best ingredients for your skin as well as the best quality ingredients. So it's just a really, really great company. And I'm pretty sure this is like a PR packaging. So this is a BHA pore cleaning toner. I'm actually looking for toners. Great. This is another Amazon. I'm pretty sure this is a book. Yep. Can't show you. I love new books, holy crap. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a spring cleaning video, like a vlog, even though it's summer. And I got like a little makeup organizer. I'll show you guys that probably in an upcoming video. My last one, thank you Lord. So, um, I really wanna work on my Instagram. And I've realized like I am my sole photographer. I don't have no to take pictures for me and stuff. So, I found this Insta, Instagram, um, iPhone tripod <laughs> yeah okay that's my unboxing uh like I said I'll mention I'll like link everything down below for you guys I am currently waiting for my groceries um and I'll show you guys like a haul once that comes in and I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is just throw on some music put all this stuff away and I need to film a video I'm filming a kind of like a life update video so that's the plan. I think I'm gonna have some mac and cheese. This mac and cheese is done. That took me literally like five minutes. I'm just gonna mix that all around. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Yum. 17 grams of protein, five grams of fiber, 30 net carbs. Here are the ingredients and pretty healthy. Let's try it. Can healthy taste good? Going straight for the bowl. It's gonna be real hot. Mmm, yum. I'm gonna have a bowl of that. Got my espresso Patrona mug. I, I don't know why, but I like eating like pastas and stuff out of a coffee mug. It's really weird. Now I'm gonna eat this, clean that, and work. I have so much to do in terms of like just catching up on emails and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be here for the next like little bit and then my grocery should come in about an hour or so and i'll show you guys that and we'll do some meal prep i actually changed up my scenery i'm just sitting on my couch um and just gonna go through some emails and i have like this giant to do that i just kind of kept adding to um whenever i remembered like anything that i needed to get done so i have to just like go through all that it's gonna take a while and i'm kind of like not looking forward to it my mind right now is just very cluttered because i just was away for so long that I need to like organize everything <laughs> like internally my email like technology like my apartment and space so I'm just gonna kind of try my best to start decluttering everything <laughs> mm -hmm.
groceries officially came in. I'm gonna give you guys a quick grocery haul and then I'm gonna do a little bit of meal prepping. I picked up some acai. I am actually probably gonna make myself an acai bowl right now. Sounds really good. Um, I haven't had acai in quite a while. It's usually like a summertime thing for me. So now that it's hot, I feel like I can enjoy it. Um, with that, I picked up some Purely Elizabeth, uh, the blueberry hemp, some bananas, avocado, apples I've been really loving to snack on. I picked up some chickpeas, banana peppers, and pickles. I love snacking on these when I'm craving something salty. Um, some bread. This is the Dave's Killer Bread, the 21 whole grains and seeds. 5 grams of protein, 5 grams of fiber, omega-3, whole grains, all the good stuff. The Aurora's Cranberry Health Mix. I love this stuff. Last time I got the big one, I feel like though it was so expensive, so I was like, I'm just going to get this one. A whole bunch of, like, drinks. I picked up some oat milk. Haven't really had, but I know a lot of people pair it with cold brew, which I was, I've been craving lately. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to be like mixing those two together. I picked up some almond milk and you guys know kombucha, gingerade, the GTS is where it's at. Some eggs, of course, lemons, and then a whole bunch of vegetables. A lot of you guys in my previous what I eat in a day was saying that I need to put more vegetables in my meals, which I totally agree with. So I picked up some of my favorites, broccoli, Brussels, and asparagus, and then some mushrooms. And I picked up three red skin potatoes. So I think what I'm going to do is use my air fryer, which again, I'm venturing out of my comfort zone. Noah usually uses this. I've never used it by myself, but we'll figure it out. I think I'm going to roast and make some like potato wedges with that. I'm still feeling like super stressed right now. I feel like there's a lot of things that I need to get done. And for some reason, I'm just like not feeling productive once I'm getting them done. There's just like a lot going on right now that again, I just need to kind of sit down, organize. I haven't had a chance to really do that just yet, but it'll get there, it'll get there. Moment of truth. Ooh, uh, ooh. That was so, oh, okay. I think I need to keep them in a little bit longer. I'm gonna, all right, let's do this. We are going to stir them and put them in for another, what, let's do 10 minutes. All right, oh yeah, that was so good. Probably let them cool a little bit, pop them in the fridge. Um, and then that way I can have like healthy, I don't know, potatoes <laughs> for when I'm cooking. I'm so lazy, you guys know. So um, I do have veggies in there that I'm like, okay, cooking, but potatoes take so long. So now I can just like pop them in here, give them a quick toast and they're done. All right guys, um, I am in my PJs. I have a dermatologist appointment in like 30 to 45 minutes. Um, it's online. Yeah, that is my AC. It's just gonna be a common theme. I used to turn it off, but I'm like, I don't even care. But I wanted to try some of these products that I mentioned in my unboxing. Let's try them together. What should we do first? Let me take off my makeup. Still using the Green Clean Melt Away makeup balm. This stuff just is everything. You just take a little bit like this and it literally does what it says. It melts your makeup away. I look insane. All right, so I'm gonna try the Glass Skin Refining Serum by Peach and Lily. Brightens and firms, hydrates, and calms. Can be used AM and the PM. I'm just gonna do a pump of this. Oh, it's really light. So I'm just gonna apply that all over my face. There is absolutely no smell, which is good, but I'm kind of disappointed because I love the smell of peach and it has peach extract, but it literally smells like nothing. Not good, not bad, just smells like nothing, but yeah, we'll see how that works. I'm going to use this for a little bit and I'll probably update you guys in a future video. Now I'm going to brush my teeth. Watch me brush my teeth. One time I was told by a friend that like brushing your teeth on camera is like the grossest thing ever. 
I was like, I do that all the time. This is gonna be really gross, but I'm gonna show you guys my tongue scraper. If you guys don't do tongue scraping, I don't wanna to talk to you, no, I'm just kidding. So this one's really cute, it came with two, so I'm gonna give one to Noah, but it comes with like this case, and it looks like this, and you're basically gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that on camera, because that's disgusting, but you just go and scrape your tongue. Oh my God, it's getting so much bacteria. Nice and fresh, that was pretty freaking gross. But it worked. So I just washed that, putting it back in my case. And then the last product I'm gonna show you guys and try out is the Moroccan oil treatment. You can put it on dry or wet hair. So I'm just putting a dot. And just kind of, oh my God, the smell. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. But I'm just gonna kind of tossle that into my hair. It makes it nice and thick. Glossy, yeah. I am probably going to end the vlog here. Like I said, I have a dermatologist appointment online. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then probably just edit. I filmed two videos today. This one and then the like life update. Uh, I have a summer reading list coming up. I have a spring cleaning series coming up. Just like really fun, exciting, productive stuff. I'm ready to get my life back. This whole year has just kind of been detrimental to um, everything about me. My mental health, as well as my physical health. Like I've just been like not feeling myself and I'm ready to get my life back on track and I'm excited that you guys are along for the ride. And we're gonna like just go up from here. Whether the world is going to shit or not, we're gonna like figure out a way to be happy, healthy, and live abundantly no matter what the circumstances are. That's kind of like my life realization after going home. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in a future video. Bye guys. I was thinking about you.